A long-term deal has been agreed to play for Boundary Park, which will allow the club to take root and create new revenue streams a club they can be excited about. Inspired by and identify with, we look forward to getting started. Phil Clark claims St. Helens cheating in explosive comments a historic day for a historic club. We don't want to outdo ourselves and know have a lot of work ahead, but feel like can do something special here. I want to give things back. That's a sentence I probably never thought I'd write. Given how long I've been involved with the club, I didn't know it was going to take over and everything I did would revolve around this club. Everyone knows it was not a journey of glory or continued success. But it has certainly been an eventful one. Of course, for quite some time now, I'm the only one out of the four still standing. When I think about my time at the club, an incredible amount of hard work has gone into ensuring that we still have a club today. I want to thank everyone who has helped keep the club afloat. It would also be wrong not to thank all people and clubs who have helped us by providing the pitch to play since 1997, especially Stollybridge Celtic in championship and our current host Avro FC. Of course, we've accomplished much more than just keeping a club afloat. Our promotion to championship, the number of grand finals we played, our being one game away from Super League, the list could go on and on. However, this is also a time to look ahead, with arrival of new owners, and the recently announced return to Boundary Park, which has huge development potential at Melrose playing fields. It's not too hard to imagine then that club has gained some interest in progress. I wish my successors best in their efforts with club and hope that all this positivity surrounding club right now will be rewarded with increased numbers in matches played against Stuart Littler. Brendan Sheridan and entire team trying to win. Promoted to the championship this year. Now wouldn't that be great, the first game in Boundary Park to be a game in the championship. I could have gone on with this last statement for long time. But everything has been a bit of whirlwind and focus should remain on the team in this Sunday's game at North Wales Crusaders. As for me, I hope I'll be there and cheer for the kids. I'll do everything I can to help the new owner with his transition at the club and I'll also look for a new job, now that's going to be awkward. The newest House of League is out now. Various guests joined Matthew Shaw to discuss Cruz Leeming's shocking Leeds Rhinos debut. The field saga of Wakefield Trinity and more. Read next humble Matty Lees gets the limelight he should always have his fair share of Tom. Johnstone's French charge providing the catalyst for stunning rejuvenation St. Helens player ratings. With Matty Lees praised for iconic, look Ian Watson excited by Huddersfield Giants progress. Despite recent defeat Matty Lee's iconic performance likened to Stuart Fielden and James Graham. After St. Helens' victory,